Rightio Tubers, episode 2, let's do this. Back to basics. I guess that's what I'm going to call it. Rightio, so last video we did how to process the cells, this time we're going to do how to build the packs. Pretty simple. Once you've got a bunch of cells and they've been sitting for a week, a month, a year, however long you let them sit for, it's time to build a pack. A cell. I call this a cell because it's positive on that side, it's negative on that side. There are two ways you could do this, I guess. One, you could use the repacker on the DIY Powerwolves forum to actually build your packs as evenly as humanly possible, or you can do what I do and as randomly as possible, throw the cells together and put them into a pack. So there's a couple of different ways you can actually go about these uh, cell holders to build your packs. One, you could do Average Joe's Way, link up there somewhere. Um, and he used the PVC pipe, he cut them all up very cheap, a little bit slow. You could use the single ones, the little single cell holders off eBay or Amazon, or you could use the 4x5s. My preferred 4x5s. I did try printing out 20 of these on the 3D printer today. It took five hours. It took um, 0.6 of a kilowatt of energy and about 50 cents worth of filament, but it took a bloody long time. I reckon if I had to buy these out from China and have them shipped over or print them all out myself, it'd actually be quicker to buy them from China. And it's certainly a lot easier and, you know, who knows? My choice is the four x five links up here that's how you do that right then you need bus bars bus bars again you can do it lots of different ways you can try the bus bar saga which i recommend you never do let's face it that was a debacle or we could do uh my bus bar way which is just copper copper strips cut up soldered on and away you go you could do um what do you call it spot welding on or you can do which has become the most acceptable method is getting house power cable, stripping it out, getting the copper out, whacking it in your drill, and was it Fly Jabberoo was the first one that I said did that? Link. Oh, there'll be a link somewhere, probably below. Um, so it's just copper, it's just putting a drill. Mine's been sitting out for a while and it's not exactly straight, but that's fine by me. Um, so the process of doing this is very very simple and one of the quickest ways I found of doing it is getting four of these I have only got two available at the moment and you make yourself a little jig on the table basically it's nails into a bit of board nothing more nothing more difficult than that so basically all that I did and now this is this has moved around a little bit through time but you want to have the bar comes sort of through the middle of these so you you just line it up the way you want to do it but all I've done is put nails either side of the plastic all the way along and of course I'm not really lining it up that well where is it there we go yeah all the nails have mo moved over time and doing with one hand not very professional there you go it just sits on there and basically you just build it up so you can put it in the put the wire in the middle and then it twists around and it sits up there. So basic, it's, it's not very difficult. It's very, very cheap. It's very, very cost effective and very, very fast. You can really rip them out pretty quickly. Okay, so once we've done bus bars and I've got a heap. This is for Bose pack, the 50 kilowatt hour pack. Haven't done it yet. Really should get on to doing it. But what are we going to do next? Got to build that up. So choices. Cell 5 has made another appearance in a video and it's not even on its own, it's not even the star of the show. Cell 5 should get onto that. Rightio, so the way of soldering this on. All you got to do is quite literally line it up and solder it on. Solder, 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 solder all the way along. Now there are some people that say you shouldn't solder but I say to them let me test that for you. So far, I haven't seen a problem. In two years' time, might I? Absolutely could, but at this point in time, I haven't got any issues. And I quite like it too, and I certainly think it's better than spot welding, because I think you go cross-eyed spot welding. 
Another good, th another good tip. Top tip: rubber mallet. Sometimes you've got to tap all these down, but you don't tap too tight because you can snap off the corners here. Those ones are broken off because I've obviously tapped it from too hard on the other side or whatever. It's thick to sell all the way through. So do be careful of that. That is not a good thing. What else can we show you? Oh, oh what's this? Wait a minute. 3D printer. 3D printer is good fun. Now what I've done is I've, um, I've actually designed these up. These are some of the first things I've ever designed for the 3D printer. And, you know, with the obligatory 18650s on it. And they will simply sit over there. So when the, the batteries are built up and they're sitting here and they've got their bus bars, that'll pretty much sit like that, nice and neat and tidily. And it'll actually cover the whole terminals at the top. I haven't worked out how I'm going to do the bottom yet, but I really want to do something with the bottom as well. I'm not just not, not overly sure how I'm going to do that. But moving forward, that's another way I can do make this safer. One thing that I would change if I was to do this again, and you know, who knows if I will or not, is I would have made this a little bit shorter. So if I had have moved that down a little bit and made this not so high and stuff like that, I think that would have been better. Also, I would have sized my wire a little bit thicker because when I had when I crimped it on here, on some of them they got loose. Now that's not loose, which is good, but when I crimped them on, they got a bit loose and then come out and caused a hot spot. So definitely two things I'd do better. So do that a little bit shorter, maybe bring it into about here or something, and then and then I would have sized this wire a little bit thicker so we didn't have this crimping problem. Anyway, tubers, I hope that explains that enough. I don't need to do another time lapse of um, soldering. I've done that enough. If you've got any questions, ask them below. I really enjoy and I do try to answer every single one. And don't forget to do that thing with the thumb and the subscribey thing and the bell thing so you get the notifications. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.